Hi, this is Tom Shanahan from SpiritualAdrenaline.me. I'm here today with David Skeist, who's a representative of Alan Carr's The Easy Way to Stop Smoking in the Northeast. David, thank you so much for coming in. This book, The Easy Way to Stop Smoking, has sold over 13 million copies worldwide. It's been translated into 58 languages, and they have seminars in over 150 cities throughout the world. David, thank you so much for coming in, and you teach these seminars. You've been teaching some of them for, I think, three and a half years, and you're an ex-smoker, 15 years you had smoked, right. you read the book, and now you teach the seminars. Yeah. What are the seminars about? What happens at the seminars? What do people do in preparation for the seminars? Yeah, and yeah. Oh, what what should they expect? It's, uh, <laughs> when I tell people what I do, there's a, there's always a sort of wide-eyed, what, really? And it's, a, a, but it really is a, a pretty extraordinary day. So the seminar is, uh, it's, it's six hours, um, and at the end of those six hours, or actually five hours into those six hours, people come and they smoke their final cigarette. And they smoke throughout. So there's five smoke breaks over the course of the seminar. Oh. And then they work their way up to their final cigarette. And then there's one more hour of kind of strategies moving forward. And essentially what the seminar is, is it's the same content as the book, but you get it in this one very intense day. So you show up at the seminar as smoker, you leave a new non-smoker because you've gone through this uh, process of cognitive readjustment and of really undoing the brainwashing that has kept you a smoker for so many years. And after the seminar, is there any kind of support for people if they're having difficulty? Yeah, absolutely. So there are follow-up seminars uh, that people can take part in. And we, I mean, we really, once, you, once you've attended our seminar, we are here to make sure that you are finding your path to success. Um, and and so what kind of whatever we have to do in order to help you get there we will do so there's continuing support afterwards absolutely. and why do you tell people to have why do, they're allowed to smoke at the seminar oh yeah why, absolutely. why and you're allowed to smoke when you read the book actually yeah. in the book alan carr recommends you continue to smoke as you read it why well you know there's a couple of reasons for it i think the first basic reason right is that um whether it's the seminar or the book you're you know you're you're not being we're not playing any tricks on you, right? This is a conversation. It's a conversation happening person to person. In the case of the seminar, it's a conversation happening between you and Alan via the book when you're reading the book. And, um, and the most important thing is that you're able to be present and you're able to listen and you're able to concentrate and you're able to think. And, you know, when you start reading the book or when you start uh, the seminar, you are a nicotine addict. That is the reality. And we all know what it's like when we go through an hour or two or three without smoking. We're not listening to a word anybody is saying. Right. We're not concentrating. it. So fundamentally, why do we ask people to continue to smoke during the seminar? So that they're listening and they're paying attention. They've been doing this for years. Another five cigarettes isn't going to kill them any more than any of the others we're going to. But... I think there is another um, equal, uh, an equally important reason why people should continue smoking, which is that one of the things you do when you're attending the seminar or when you're reading the book is you really start to look at the costs of smoking and the benefits of smoking, the so-called benefits of smoking, and you evaluate what this experience really is. Where is the pleasure from smoking? What is the taste? Right. What is the smell of smoking? How does it make me feel? What does it give me and what doesn't it give me? And when you are actually smoking as you are going through these, uh, this kind of series of questions, you really get a kind of up-close look at what this drug is and what it isn't. And it turns out it really isn't any of the things that we thought, thought it, it was. was. Well, you've taught over 700 people at these seminars. You've been doing it for three and a half years. Keep up the work. I'll tell you, I actually have attended the seminar, as you know, and I remember uh, thinking about whether I should go, whether I shouldn't go, and the call, because of the cost, but I figured it out. It was about what I paid for cigarettes per month, and I'm like, I couldn't keep smoking because it was killing me, and I went to the seminar, and I haven't smoked since, and that's why I'm a big believer, as Absolutely. you know. And I would well, add that, actually, there's a money-back guarantee with the seminars. So. What First is of that all, money it, back if you don't quit, you get your money back. You know, so you have really nothing to lose. You have nothing maybe to the, lose. Maybe an addiction to a drug that will kill you. Oh, you have everything to lose by being a smoker. You have yeah. nothing to lose by attempting to quit, and you have everything to gain. So there's information at their website. If you're in, David, thank you so much. And if you're interested in attending one of these seminars, if you're interested in more information on the book and the program, go to their website, which is theeasywaytostopsmoking.com. Thank you again, Dave. Thanks for having me.